I personally believe that any country belongs to its people. But who are its people? Let me be more clear. In every democratic country, the elected representatives of the majority of the population, also known as government, runs the country according to the people's interest. Well, more or less at least. But who exactly is the population they should be making the interest of? Is it the citizens of the country? And with this I mean the passport holders and therefore all the ones allowed to vote. Is it the residents of the country and so anyone who resides on the territory during that particular mandate, citizens or not? Or should the government rule just for the local residents and therefore the local population living in the country? So forget all the passport holders living abroad and the residents who do not hold any local citizenship. Yes, because in the debate that has been going on about the permanent link between the island of Gozo and the one of Malta, I often spotted comments mentioning there should be a referendum. Something I would fully agree on. Yet, these same comments often mention that only locals, and in this case Gozotans, should be allowed to vote. Regardless of what the law might say, I'm personally debated. I perfectly understand why locals, therefore Gozotans, should be in charge of a decision that will surely change the future of their island. But then I ask myself, why should they have all the say about a tunnel which is actually connecting two islands and therefore affecting residents of Malta as well as the one in Gozo? But let's go one step further. If only Gozotans were allowed to vote, who would qualify as being Gozotan? I'm sure many of you have an easy answer to this question, but is it really that obvious? I mean, let's say, would someone born in Malta yet living in Gozo qualify as a Gozotan? What if he or she had been living on the island for over 5, 10, 20 years? Would that make any difference? Take me as an example. Would I be allowed to vote? My mother was born here in Gozo, I'm a Maltese citizen, I hold a Gozotan ID, and though I didn't grow up exclusively here, I visited Gozo every year of my life and I passed most of my adult life on the island. Could I consider myself a Gozotan? I know, it's a thin line, and it gets even thinner. What if you were born here in Mandraj? of Gozotan parents emigrated as a toddler to the US and then chose to come back here as an older adult. What if you're married to a Gossetan and you've lived here for more than 30 years? Does that make you Gossetan? What if you were born to foreign parents? Does that be an I feel Gossetan after 45 years and consider myself a local. Would you be considered Gossetan if you were born in Australia to Gozotan parents, and one day planned on moving back home. I was born in Gozo. In 1980, I moved to work in Malta. In 1988, I moved to continue my photography here in Italy. I've been coming up and down all these years. Am I a Gozotan or am I a foreigner? Let me know your thoughts on what it takes to be a Gozotan. And if you'd like me to keep producing more of these videos, and maybe would like to have a little say in the direction of my future work, please start supporting me on Patreon, a platform especially built to support artists such as myself. You can find the link beneath in the description. See you next week, maybe. Okay, okay. Go. Am I a No, no, tourist. <laughs>